Welcome to Wario World. <laughs> In the forest, right, you guys? Well, Mario, I can't agree with you with more. This is indeed we live in in the Germany forest. Yes, I know that, Luigi. It's always about the time in the forest, but I think everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, exactly what I did. Same thing, but I appreciate our nature. So, Mario, what are we doing right now? We're gonna explore through the forest like everybody is. Besides, this one's looks beautiful. I suppose I agree with you. This looks nice to me. Yes, I know what you're thinking. This looks like a nicer place indeed, with full of life and nature. Well, let's -a go. <sighs> Isn't that lovely in the nature? I just love forests. It's like a, some kind of a peace for myself. Indeed it is there, Squidward. Yeah, you can appreciate the nature. You can know about it. Yeah, I remember the forest of Germany is so peaceful rather than in the early times for due to World War II. Well, forget what we said. This is more of a peaceful life or something. I suppose I agree with you, Callum. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, exactly. What the heck was that? I hear it again. There must be somewhere in the middle of the forest. It sounds a lot like an anteater. Wait, did you say an anteater? Yeah, why? I know exactly this. Follow me. <laughs> right up. Wait for us. Wait. <gasps> Guys, I see one. Look. What? What is that thing? <laughs> Oh, it really is an anteater. Yes, I've never seen this anteater before. But this looks strange. Why is it bizarre to be like a tamandua? Yeah, I never heard of this creature before. I know what it is. That was a Yero tamandua. Yero tamandua? What a good name for an anteater like creature. But what's a Yero tamandua? Yero tamandua, which name means European tamandua, is an extinct genus of mammal from the extinct family Yero tamanduneidae that lived during the Middle Eocene about 47.8 to 46.3 million years ago. This creature was the single is known for discovering in a mesal pit in southwestern Germany. Yero tamandua was about 90 centimeters, 35 inches long. Most paleontologists now classify Irotamandua as a pangolin. When its fossils were discovered that Irotamandua was originally thought to be an anteater as it lacked characteristic fuse hair scales had other pangolins. So let me get this straight. Irotamandua is not an anteater, but a re close relative to a pangolin? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna talk to this thing. Okay, but be careful. It had the sharp claws. Don't worry, they're only defensive towards predators. They're not harmless to humans. Hello there, Yero Tamandua! It is I, Wario. How you been, buddy? I must say, that looks impressive to me. Oh, that was a relief. See, I told you Wario can communicate with nature. So, Yero Tamandua. You're not related to an anteater, but related to a pangolin, right? I suppose you're right. You're not an anteater at all, but a completely new different creature. Well, that seems nice. I can appreciate it. Yeah, I love how the Yurotamandu can actually communicate with the human being. Well, to be a reason, it is actually pretty harmless to me. So, Mr. Tamandua, you know you lack reptilian scales, but you have fur similar to a real Tamandua has. So, you want to be friends? I suppose you agree with. So, Wario, 
I feel like you respected the nature. Yes, indeed, Waluigi. I respected every living creature on the planet, from small to large. Oh, that's a nice. I feel like I'm in a very good nature. Yes, I can agree with you. Well, kind of agree with you. Same thing. Me too. What was that? I don't know, but I hear some roaring noises. Wait, is that come from a bear? Uh, little buddy, you need to climb up a tree, quickly! Now go, climb! Come on, let's get out of here! <laughs> See you later, Yerotama Dua! Come and visit! Let's go! <laughs> come on! So long, buddy! Come and visit! <laughs>